Hello everyone and welcome to my balcony garden. Today's video is a quick one. I am in the process of thinning out my radish seedlings that I'm growing in this container here, sowing them from seed and I thought I would show you how I do it. So these are my radish seedlings, they are absolutely beautiful. Um, the variety is Saxa 2. As you can probably see as well, I've got two rows here of radish seedlings. So I made little drills in the soil, sprinkled the seeds along, covered them up, watered them, and then within two weeks, they've germinated. The first, uh, sorry, the seed leaves have emerged. Very, look at them, they're absolutely gorgeous. Look at these heart-shaped um, seed leaves or cotyledons. And now the first true leaves are also starting to emerge. So this is a good time to start thinning out your seedlings. You can actually do it a little bit earlier as well, once the first, uh, once the seed leaves are out. Some people are very meticulous when they're sowing seeds, so they'll sow them sort of one inch apart or one and a half inches apart, so they don't need to then thin out. I'm quite lazy. Yeah, I just sprinkle and then I thin out at the end, but you can also eat these as microgreens, so nothing's going to waste, you just have to thin them out. Okay, so normally you leave around one inch to two inches between each radish seedling. This is gonna depend on the variety that you're growing. Some radishes are larger, some are smaller. Just look in the packet or do a bit of research on the variety that you're sowing to find out the sort of optimum distance between each of the seedlings. I normally leave mine around one, one and a half inches. So I'm actually happy with the distance between these ones here. But if we go a bit closer, this one I want to remove so there is enough space between these two. So I'm actually just gonna pull this one right out like this. Oh, there we go. And you can see there's now a nice space between these two seedlings. This means that the radishes are gonna have enough space to bulk up and to sort of grow into that gorgeous round form that they have. I'm also gonna remove this one. And as I mentioned before, we're not wasting them. I have them as um, microgreens. Oh, I just eat them now, actually. I'm hungry. Mm, yummy, wow, really nice. So this cluster here, however, is slightly different. There are actually four seedlings in this little cluster here. I'm going to remove the two in the middle with scissors because when they are so close together, the seeds, they've germinated and they've become the seedlings, you can imagine that the roots are probably beginning to intertwine as well in the soil. So if I remove these by pulling them out, chances are I'm going to either damage the, the roots of these two here or they're actually going to come up as well when I pull these two. So I'm just going to snip these ones off. Just go in there. And snip, lovely. It is still quite close. I'm gonna leave them, I think it should be fine. Mm, oh my. So these two are actually still quite close. I am gonna leave it though, it is, it is an inch. Um, maybe these two will just be smaller or the strongest one will grow larger. Either way, I'll have radishes. So I'm just gonna get on and do the rest of it. I have also been asked in the past if, uh, when I'm thinning out my seedlings, if I take the seedlings that I pull out and plant them somewhere else. I don't because if you look, um, the roots, I mean there, is a, there are a couple of roots in the end of the seedling but they've been damaged already and I just think, oh, I could sow from seed and have a much stronger plant, less hassle and just going to eat this one as a microgreen as well. Bam. So I have thinned out my radish seedlings. Um, you can see how easy it is. Oh, I actually missed one, hang on. Yummy. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did and you'd like to support the channel, subscribe. I hope you're all having good summer so far. I send you all my good wishes and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.